Howdy there. Um, just wanted to do a quick uh, overview on my uh, control system, my electronic control system for my 1034 New Holland stack wagon. Uh, what it is is basically a way to run one of these from inside an enclosed cab. And uh, the, one of the main reasons I did this is that uh, when it's hot outside, it's nice to have air conditioning. And at nighttime, if you're picking up bales, it's kind of irritating because bugs like to come in the cab and fly in your eyes and your mouth, and it's really unpleasant. And the way the, the stack wagon's made is that um, you can't do that from inside an enclosed cab with the manual controls. Um, if you have, like, the more involved um, control rod uh, type system, I suppose you could, uh, but this is pretty handy, and uh, I enjoyed doing the project. I'm um, getting ready to actually sell this machine uh, with the controls on it, so just wanted to do a quick overview of, of what it is and how it works, and uh, yeah, I guess just document it. So let's see what we got here. All right, so for starters, this is the control box I made. It's pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna make some labels for it. So basically here we have a, uh, they're all three position switches. Um, this is for the bale loader and the, the bale chute. Uh, I used a bigger switch there so that it's easy to reach since it's a pretty common use one. This is the second table here. It's uh, also three position, but it's a, uh, um, only momentary in the up position. So this would be down, that is hold, hold it in position, and then this is raise, and then you can see it springs back, so it's um, hold, hold, momentary. Um, let's see here. This is the, the load rack. Uh, I reason I went with a... a what is this a potentiometer is so that I can um, move the the load rack more smoothly and at a slower speed um, these ones are just kind of uh, it moves the, the actuator full on or full off whereas this one will move it to varying positions and so um, that's handy <clears throat> for when you're back in a stack up and you don't want it to be or not backing, but you're dropping a, a stack and you don't want it to be all herky-jerky. This worked out real well. It's kind of a, a revision to the, the thing I made. Um, and then also, this tractor's pretty handy in that it has a, a way to, through this harness here, it has a, what's called a headland management switch. So, by doing that, basically, I can, from the tractor, from my headland management button, I can um, turn on and off a relay. So what I did with that is I made it to where from this this little button here, I can turn on and off the bail loader, same as if I did here. And I'll show that in a little while. All right. Um, well, maybe we'll... I think that's pretty much everything inside. Uh, you can see what it looks like back here. Um, this is the the all the wiring uh, goes back to that silver box and then underneath there is you know a series of five um, linear actuators with with position feedback uh, so you know jump out and we'll take a look at it all right so here we are um, I guess Looking at the, the box here, you can see where all of the the linear actuators plug in. They're labeled. This is where the main harness goes. So um, it's also where the where the uh, Arduino controller inside gets its power. Uh, this is a, a USB port to that uh, to that Arduino, so that you can uh, communicate it communicate with it. Uh, if I was making this again, I would 
use watertight connectors and a waterproof box, but this was kind of what I came up with um, for my first go round, and I pretty much always store it indoors, so it hasn't been a problem. Uh, so here you can see the, the uh, linear actuator, um, and I just made a, a bracket back there for them to mount onto. Um, they're mounted with uh, a little clevis and pin, and same thing up here. So if you want to, you can easily um, pop off the, the pin, the cotter pin, pull out the main pin, and then drop it out of the way. And then you can be back to using your um, your control rods here. Um, so, you know, when I'm operating, these things are still moving back and forth, just like if uh, I was doing it by hand. But like I said, I can do it with the machine off. Um, this is how the uh, uh, bale loader typically works, is you have this, this guy here, just a, a manual lever but I do not use that um, and it's actually I don't think it's tied in I think it just slides on the shaft right now it's hard to see so anyways that's kind of what it is so I'll try to do a, a demonstration here of, of how it works and yeah we'll go from there Okay, we're back in the cab here, um, so I will uh, we'll see if I can keep the rear window open for a clearer shot. Um, hopefully it's not too noisy, so we'll go ahead and turn on the, the PTO. So now you can see the, the hydraulic should be working um, and everything, so we'll give a quick demonstration here. Um, let's see here, let me get this going. I gotta get the headland management started. So there you can see that the next time I press my button, it's gonna apply 12 volts, like I was saying. So when I apply 12 volts in here, I've got a relay in here that will then tell this to turn on. So I'll hit this button here. There you can see the bail loader turned on. And then I'll cycle it again. It stopped. Do it again. So that's how that's working. But the way it's working is if you watch one of those linear actuators, you can see it moving there on the very right. Turns it on. It off. So that's kind of the that's kind of the basic principle of how everything's working is it's just a electronic way to move these control rods. So um, let's see here. Now I'll move the 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 second table. So right now it's in its down position. So I'm going to lift it up. I'll put it to the middle. That doesn't do anything yet. But when I when I push it to its up position. There's the second table going up. I can, if I just let it stay in the middle, it'll hold, and then if I flip it to the bottom position, it'll drop. All right, this is the switch for the auto tie feature here. So we'll try to get this to do its thing. here and now we'll move the the uh, make sure the push-off feet are all the way in and you can kind of see them starting to go out when it squeals like that, that's how you that's how you know that the uh, you're all the way to the end of its reach so there it goes so see I can 
I can stop it and I can make it go, I can make it creep along by just turning this dial real slowly. See there, it's going real slow. Or it can go quickly and then I'll drop it down. Also, I can pick up the bail loader by just moving this switch to the, the uh, most upward position. So yeah, that's how the that's how the thing works. You can put it down by just pushing the switch down. That's how the thing works, and pretty pleased with the, the way the whole thing turned out. Now you can hear how much quieter it is to to run this thing with the with the uh, cab closed. It's really pretty handy. So yeah, that's basically how it works, and I've really enjoyed uh, enjoyed using it. But uh, now that I have upgraded to this this old stack wagon over here, I don't really have any need for this one, so I'll be be selling it off. All right. Well, thanks for watching.